Helen? You're trembling. Something's happened. What do you mean? A man, a Mike Kovac. He's been to the Long Island place at least three times. The insurance company? I don't know. He says he's a photographer. Well, they believe I'm dead, don't they? He's in town, Carl. Well, this is the first time I've ever been in this town. Why would he come here? Darling, please don't argue. Just, just do as I say. Well, what do you want me to do? I want you to go to Miami. And I want you to get to Havana as fast as you can. And as soon as I get the money, I'll join you there. Look, now, come on. There's a railroad station. Over the hill, just past the mine there. Darling, I can't take too much more of this running. There isn't much. Please go. Camera. Starring Charles Bronson. I'm Mike Kovac, photographer. An insurance company sent me to a Pennsylvania mining town to check on the wife of the missing Carl Bain. The only thing I have to go on is that she was born here. Mm, that's the history of our town. Our pretty girls always leave. Well, she came back often during the past two years. We know that. Well, it's going to be worth a quarter of a million dollars. I doubt if she'll come back again. Well, she's going to be worth it, all right. The insurance company will give it to her, and they'll give it to her because her husband fell off a boat. Drown? No, it was sharks. She was the only eyewitness. Are you an insurance investigator? Photographer. What do they need with a photographer? Nothing if he's dead. A picture if he's alive. Well, I'll keep my boys on the alert. Carl Bain shows up, we'll notify you. Okay, thanks, Chief. I'd appreciate it. Chief, there's been an accident at the mine. I didn't hear any siren. Well, not a cave-in. The kid saw somebody fall on number seven. Said he didn't recognize him. What kind of a fool would be around number seven? Well, a stranger, maybe. Let's go. A couple of tramps probably heading for the railroad. You sure you'd have recognized them? Would have said if I had. Well, how were they dressed? Like men. Hmm. Well, if you think of anything, be sure to tell me. Yes, sir. Well, let's see how they're doing. No good, Mr. Werner. 
I couldn't break through without knocking the timbers loose. What will they hold? If you leave them alone, they will. Trouble? Yeah. This is Mike Kovac from New York. Uh, George Werner, engineer for the mine. What are the chances of getting him out? Well, we've got to find out if he's alive first. Otherwise, we'll leave him there and cover the hole over. I won't risk a man to bring out a corpse. Can you see him down there? 65 feet down, Mr. Kovac. We tried lowering a man, but the timbers are jammed. We can't get through. How can you tell whether he's alive or not? By dropping a rope. If he's alive, he'll pull on it. You know, maybe I can help you there. I can go back to town and get some equipment and rig this camera to the end of that hook. Then I'll set it up so that I can trip the shutter from up here. Well, how will that help? Well, at least we can tell whether he's alive or not. He's got an idea, George. It's all yours if it'll work. I fixed the camera so that I could set off the shutter and flash with a remote control switch. First, I tested the camera. It worked. Then we lowered it down into that hole and took a picture. I repeated the process again just to make sure and developed the pictures on the spot with the portable equipment in my station wagon. Here you are, Chief. Whoever he is, he's alive. How do you know? Well, this is the first picture here. And on the second picture, the flash must have startled him because he moved his hand from here over to here. And incidentally, that box is a suitcase, you see. Does he look familiar to you? From this angle, I can't tell whether it's Baines or not. Baines? The New York fellow married the Joukowsky girl. What would he be doing here? You get him out and we'll ask him. I guess I will manage to get through to him somehow. We're up against rock. Well, we may have to blast to get through to him in time. Yes, sir. I'll keep you posted. Blast? If you want him alive, we will, Mr. Kovac. Well, won't the concussion start another cave in? That's a chance we'll have to take. Oh, sure. Now, this is shaft number seven. The timbers were dislodged when the guy fell in the hole. It's a miracle they didn't follow him down. Now, we can't lower a man. He hits a soft spot and no more hole. Now, what's this? Well, that's the 20 feet that's blocked off. We well, used to connect. Well, how long will it take to get to him this way? The chances of getting through to him that way without causing a cave-in is about one in 10. How are you going? From here to here. That looks to me to be about 300 feet. 262. How long will that take? About a week, depending upon what we run into. Can he stay alive that long? I don't think he can. Mike Kovac. We know who you are. Well, I was talking to George Warner, and he told me it would take about a week to get him out that way. He knows the mine. If he says it'll take a week, that's how long it'll take. The guy will be dead by then. We hope not. Well, you know, there's a short way. You can get him out in under a day. How many children do you have, Mr. Kovac? I'm not married. I have four. Why are you so interested, Mr. Kovac? Friend of yours? No, he's one for an insurance fraud. We dig him out, you put him in jail. If he's the man I want, yeah. Well, he can't spend the money down there. How's it going? No tug for the past three hours. You managed to get 
get food and water to him? No, well, we got water to him, but he didn't drink it. Let's figure out why. His arms might be broken. They might be pinned down. We don't know. No food, no water. Dark as night. Tell you this, he's scared. Who wouldn't be? No, it's going real slow. It may be Baines, I don't know. Look, all I know is we're trying to get a man out of that hole. Just a second. If you locate Helen Baines, let me know. And I'll call you back same time tomorrow. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, they said it would be all right if I came up. Well, come in, come in. I was just talking about you. Make yourself comfortable. The pictures you took were in the New York papers. I uh, came down as fast as I could. Yeah, I figured you would. I just can't understand how it could be Carl. If I thought there was a chance. Well, there's a chance. Well, Mr. Kovac, if I thought there was a chance that my husband was still alive, not all the money in the world. You're not gambling for all the money in the world. Just a quarter of a million dollars. Well, do you think that uh, money can stop a person from being lonesome? No. But it can buy a lot of people who are willing to listen to your troubles. But I want a lot of people. No? I guess you think it's pretty heartless of me, my husband being dead. No, no. With this faint hope that he's still alive. I, mean, I just know that's impossible. If he's dead, you get all that money. Well, I won't even get that unless... Unless what? Unless you tell the insurance company that that isn't my husband. That Carl is really dead. You can't even distinguish his face in those pictures. It'd be a real friendly thing to do. What's the matter? Don't you like me? Oh, sure. I could probably get to like you a lot more. Let's see how much more. But I would never trust you. You're a fool, Mr. Kovac. Better look for another friend, Mrs. Baines. Uh, Mr. Kovac, with a quarter of a million dollars at stake, uh, I don't think I'll have any trouble. let me look at his picture collection of hoodlums. I not only wanted to know who clobbered me, I wanted to know why. What about this one? Oh, him. I don't think he's ever done an honest day's work. That goes for his brother, too. This is his brother over here? Yeah, that's him. Where can I find them? I know where to find them. And I'll bring them in. Mike, I'm not interfering in your job. Don't interfere in mine. Guy is dead. Why do you say that, Jan? You know what it's like to be chopped down here? Yeah. That's why I say it. Also, we won't have a, a choice to make. We've got no choice anyway, except to do what Mr. Werner tells us to. This meeting is foolish, Helen. Please don't yell at me, George. Kovac connects us. You'll know who's in the hole and who put him there. Dear George. Oh, don't crack up now. Well, what was the good of having him beaten up? All he wants to do is to get Carl out of that mine. Then I think we ought to help him all we can. To get Carl out? No. Get Kovac in.
What do you want? Well, the uh, two of us talked it over, and we're going to try the old shaft. By tomorrow afternoon, we'll break through. Mm. Yeah, I know the chance you're taking. So do we. I can't help thinking about that guy. I know, even though I've never been in that spot myself before. We do, too. Because we have been. When are you going to start? We're starting now. You wait, I'll go with you. Well, you don't know how many times I expected that tunnel to cave in last night. Oh, it could still happen. Look, Kovacs, this is no kid's game. They're in there because you shamed them into it. They're in there because they were once trapped by a cave-in themselves. You think a man who has been in one would deliberately try to get caught in another? It's a small hole, but we've broken through. Where's Stan? He's bracing the hole. Need the help? I'm all fish. Oh, touch that! Did you call them? Yeah, but he didn't call back. Make the choice, Mr. Kovac. What do you mean? How long will it take a man to get to him? Ten, twelve minutes. Another ten minutes to pry him loose. Twice as long as that to pull him out. Depends upon the water in there. How long the bracing hole? Who can tell? Well, with the pressure on it, if it isn't jarred, maybe an hour. What happens when it collapses? When the whole thing goes. Now, do you understand, Mr. Kovac? Now, make a choice. We'll make our own choice. All a man has to do is crawl through that hole, dig him free, and then drag him out, right? Yeah, that's all. Could I do it? Why you? Well, because you two have been digging all night while I've been sitting up here resting. And because I want him more than either one of you. That has nothing to do with it. How many kids you got? Four. That's got just about everything to do with it. Wait. Better get rid of some of those clothes. Shaft is full of water. No sense dragging in anything extra. All right, I got some work clothes in my car. I got some miniature camera equipment for my car and put it in a miner's helmet to keep it dry. I'd soon know if the trap man was Carl Baines and if he was alive. Now, crawl straight through. Be careful not to dislodge anything. Okay. When he gets there, if he's dead, leave him. If he's dead, all I'll bring back is a picture. Whoever he is. Stay here, Stan. I'll get some blankets. Shaft. What's he doing in there? Said he'd stand by. Said I should get some coffee. Get him out here right away. What did you do that for? Keep away from that beam. I only want them to see if it was waiting. I'll watch it, Mr. Werner. You want it outside.
going, George. No play. of his mind. Is he? We got the boys you hired to beat up Kovac. Come on. Carl. Carl, are you all right, darling? My, my wife, she, she's in it, too. Carl, don't say things like that. <laughs> He's delirious. This is Baines. Better find yourself another friend. And when you do, make sure it's a lawyer. 